How you doing, Duff here? I was asked by uh, one of the um, people on my YouTube channel, or actually, I think they're on my YouTube channel and also uh, a customer of mine on the uh, EUCArmy.com store, about a brief video to show how stands get assembled. Now, I'm going to show you the 3.9 adjustable stands. Uh, all the other stands, the same basic theories apply, even though they're a little bit simpler because they, they don't adjust. So. Um, if you can do, put this stand together, you can put together any stand, and none of these should be difficult. So when you get a package from me, it's going to normally be in the priority, a priority mail envelope if you are in the United States. And then when you open it up, you're going to have the bottom pieces with some blue tape on there that hopefully stayed on during shipping. That's just to keep the nuts in. If for some reason you're missing some blue tape, that means you probably have a nut in the bag, so you're going to want to pull that out. And then you have your side pieces. We have some screws. Here's your other side piece. And then you're also going to have some printed in basic instructions, an EUC Army sticker, and a E-Wheels card. You know, because I support E-Wheels, and E-Wheels supports me. So here's your parts. And below, you can set that aside. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take this blue tape off. Okay. Typically, I will ship the, the bottoms of these adjustable stands in this width. And this width is approximately 15.8 centimeters. This will fit uh, most wheels. It will not fit wide wheels like a 16X, a Z10, or a Sherman. You're going to want to uh, make it wider. So let me just quickly show you how you would do that. Okay, so the way that I have this configured is there's two nuts. There's two nuts and two bolts. And you can actually hold this together with, with as few as one bolt, and it would be just fine. So if I, if I want to quickly make it wider, I could go like this. Move the single screw there, and tighten it up, and there you go, you got a wide stand. Um, like I said, you don't really need to. I mean, all the forces on a stand are downward. They're not outward. So this, this, would, this would actually hold it just fine. But you could um, move this screw here. Now the way that I normally would move a screw, and you could do this, so now you could do this with a small screwdriver as well, but if you want to move this nut to a different spot, just kind of get it started, just push it in there, and then you can get your, your tool behind the nut and slide it out. Just like that, and you can move it to another hole. To slide it in, you just basically, um, this it's only gonna fit there one way, it'll slide in, push it in, Again, you might want to use a little screwdriver. This little this little uh, pliers works really well for me. Push it in until you see it, where you can get your little screwdriver into the hole, and then just move it over until the, the nut is right in the center of the hole, and you're good to go. So that's the way you would change the width setting of one of these stands. But I'm gonna put it back to its original configuration because I'm not quite sure. Um, what specific wheel this is going to be used for. All right, so we're going to we're going to back this off So just simply loosen it up move it back here And again, all this would only need to be done if you wanted to adjust the size of your stand Which you may need to But it's not a difficult thing to do Okay, so now we got the tape off We got our four screws here Now if you happen to order more than one stand Certain stands have longer screws than other ones. I usually will indicate on this piece of paper, I will write, you know, longer stands are for this stand, or longer screws are for this stand. So I will, if you're getting more than one stand, I will try to indicate that for you. Take your screw. Some people are, are confused by this procedure. Put my first bolt in. Yeah, there, that's a little better. And if you just start to turn it, you'll be like, hey, man, it's not lined up. Okay, right there, it, it, it works for me. What normally will happen when you start to turn it is you'll see this little nut just slide upwards. The, the, the turning of the screw will, will make the, um, the nut come up. And then you just tighten it up firm. You don't want to, you know, crank it with an air wrench. It just needs to be firm. You don't need to go crazy with it. It's in there good. But sometimes what will happen is as you're doing this, uh, and you turn it a few times and the nut doesn't want to, the nut doesn't want to uh, catch the threads. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm two for two here. Both of those caught. So now let me just show you what you do if it doesn't catch. All right. So 
So basically what you can do is say I'm just turning here and it's not, it's not starting, okay? If you just go like this and just loosen up the pressure so this screw has a chance to just move up in the slot a little bit, there you go, now it's started. Now you're good to go. And we got one more to go here. And just FYI, I always test fit stands before, whoops. I wasn't paying attention and I see I have that screw in backwards, or that nut is in backwards. We don't want that, so we're gonna take that out. If you would have to put these screws in, make sure that the, the bigger opening is facing towards this screw. All right, drop that in there. And actually I need to loosen these up. What I do normally is I attach, I attach the uh, ends keeping these middle sections of the of the adjustable base loose and then and then I, once I have the sides attached then I will tighten these up so everything fits together well. All right so let's get this started in here let's see if we get lined up right away. That one looks like it's lined up as well. Okay there we go. So now I'm just gonna tighten this down here. Again you won't it, it will come with the bottom tight in a 15.8 centimeter configuration. If you need it wider or more narrow, you know what to do now, right? Because you can, in addition to make it wider, you can make it more narrow. Like if you had like a 9 bot S1 or a like an InMotion V5F, those are narrow wheels. You're going to want to make the stand more narrow than 15.8 centimeters. So just keep that in mind. Or like a, a Kingsong 14D. Again, that's a, that's a narrow wheel. You're going to have to make the stand more narrow. All right, so there you go. The stand is now assembled. Now, if you happen to get a, um, a 2.1 stand design, it's a little different, you know, because first of all, it's not adjustable. It's the same principle. You still have, you still have the, uh, the nuts in these slots. Now, there could be a, a slight difference depending on uh, the model and the printer it was printed on. Sometimes these screws are nice and snug in there that I, I will insert them ahead of time and they will stay in place. I'll still put the tape on, but they will generally stay in place. But if they're not, like if they're loose in there, you, you could have the same situation where the nut will be floating in there a little bit. You just start the screw once again. And if it's not quite lined up, um, you can do, if, if it's loose enough that it slides back and forth, invert the side and let the nut drop down a little bit and try to tighten it again, you'd be fine. If it's actually snug, but just not lined up, this here quickly. What I will do normally is I will look in here and if this is misaligned again take a small screwdriver and just make sure that the nut is aligned in the hole centered and once you do that you will be able to put your nut in or I'm sorry you'll be able to put your bolt in screw it in and you're good to go. All right so hopefully you found this helpful the basics of how to assemble an EUC Army stand. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at duff at EUCArmy.com. That's all I have for you for now. Till next time, Duffman out.